guys, but well, so this is place the movie event, and it's the end of the month again. You know what that means? Time for another requested review, and this time I will be reviewing the movie Clanat, requested by. Marco Chan. And by the way, I watched the English dub, not the Japanese version with English subtitles. So when I mention the characters, I am going to mention the American voice actors, not the Japanese ones. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. This movie is basically about some high school student who is in love with a pretty woman and has a pretty ordinary high school life. I'm just gonna say right off the bat that I am not a fan of high school dramas. I think that those kinds of movies are fucking boring unless they were made more interesting with something like jokes or something like that. So I will say right off the bat that I wasn't very interested in this movie. In fact, I found it for the most part to be extremely fucking boring. I was struggling to keep awake. Now I'm going to talk about the characters. The main character is Tomoya Okazaki, voiced by David Matranka. Now I am going to apologize in advance for butchering a Japanese name if I do that. I don't speak Japanese, so you shouldn't be surprised that I pronounce Japanese names wrong. Anyway, the protagonist of this movie is extremely fucking dull. I'm serious, I didn't care about the guy in the slightest. And his narrating makes the movie even more fucking boring. He is an ordinary high school student. And by ordinary, I mean very ordinary. He isn't an extremely smart high school student. He isn't dumb to the point that everyone is making fun of him. He's just a plain, dull, ordinary high school student. And that's it. Now I'm going to talk about the character Nakisa Furukavi, voiced by Lucy Christian. I will admit, she is a fucking beautiful woman. And that's basically where her personality ends. Now of course, she did have a personality, but not a particularly interesting one in my opinion. I will admit, she is slightly more interesting than the protagonist, but she is still incredibly fucking dull and I didn't care about her much. She might be beautiful, but unfortunately, good looks does not make a good character. Now, the third character that I would like to talk about is Johei Sunuhara, voiced by Greg Iris. Now, he's the best friend of the protagonist, and he is a bit of a goofball. I am saying a bit because there are only extremely few moments where he does something dumb. But yeah, he is fucking dull, just like the rest of the characters in this movie. Now, I will say that the relationship in this movie was believable, and it was by no means stupid, but I just didn't care about it in the slightest because of how fucking dull everyone is in this movie. Now, I am going to acknowledge the good things about the movie. There are some good things about it. They are extremely few, but they are there. For one thing, these extremely few scenes that take place in a dream and someone's imagination are fucking awesome. But those are certainly the only good parts about the movie. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This movie is a huge spore fest and for that I'm going to have to give it two middle fingers. And Marco Chan, I really appreciated that you wanted me to review this movie. I really fucking do. And even though I didn't like it at all, I want to say thank you. I appreciate all the requests that I get. Even though I don't like all the movies that people request me to review. So anyway, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and you all have a fantastic day.